Welcome back, boys and girls. It is good to be back and be with you. Here is the letter that we're going to talk about today. It is that magic E. And what does the magic E do? That's right. It makes the vowel say its name. So when you see a vowel consonant, the line means there's a consonant there. So vowel consonant E, this vowel is going to say its name. So what sound would this make if it was placed in a word and had two consonants around it? It would say I, good. What about this sound? A, how about this one? E and O, good. One more, we have OO. So it doesn't really say U, but it makes that long OO sound. All right, so when you see that E after a consonant and there's a vowel before that consonant, it's gonna make the vowel say its name. So sometimes we have an S before that E. So if we had S E, sometimes it's gonna not say S, but it's gonna say Z. So if it might have the Z sound. So if I have this word right here, R eyes rise you hear more of a z from that s than you would than you do an s how about if i put this word right this letter right here this vowel what would it be now R o's rose have you ever smelled a rose they're really pretty and smell really good but this word would be rose because that e would come at the end of it and make that say z all right, let's practice writing some of the words that you're going to see this week um, in your activities and on Friday's spelling test. All right, here we go. This word is nose. Spell it N-O-S-E. Nose. All right, nose. N-O-S-E. Nose. So can we write it? Ready? N would be N, N O S E. So we have a N O Z, but it's not a Z, it's an S, nose. And then we have to put the magic E on it to make the O say O. So nose. Our next word is smile. S M I L E smile. So we have the blend sm at the beginning. We have the long e, I mean the long i because of that e. We have a consonant l and then we have the silent e at the end. So smile, sm i l. All right, let's write it. Ready? Smile. Sm s m i l. The l and we need that i to say i. So we're going to put an E, smile, smile. All right, how about this word, stove, stove, spell it S-T-O-V-E, stove. You ready to write that one? You have the stove. All right, ready? Right, st, st, st S -t -o V, and then we have that silent E at the end, stove, and you can underline it and say it all together, stove. All right, how about, ooh, this one means that you are not afraid. You are very brave, brave, B-R-A-V-E, brave. So we have the br, br blend right here, and then we have the A consonant E pattern. So let's write brave. Ready? Br. That's right. B R. So we're gonna pull down, give it a honk. Br. B R, and then A V A V E. Brave. All right. How about this word? Close. Please close the door. Ready? Spell it. C L O S E. We hear that z sound, don't we? And we've got to remember it's not S. It's a Z. I mean, that's it's an S. My mind is crazy today. All right, close. Ready? C-L-O-S-E. Close. Let's write it. Close. 
cl cl C L cl O, and then what letter says Z, not Z, but S E. Good. Close. So we have C L O S E. That C looks a little pitiful. All right. Close. All right. How about this? It's a very smart person. Wise. Wise. W I S E. Wise. So we have the W I Z and silent E. All right. So wise. That's right. Wise. There we go. Wise. W I Z E. So W I S E. How about this one? It's got a blend at the beginning. Slide, slide. We have the sl, i, d, d, and then the silent e. Slide. So S L I D E. Can we write it? Slide. Sl, sl, S L, sl, i, d, d, e. Slide, slide. Remember on your D. When you make a D, you are going to start like a C. So here's a C and the D comes right after. So you would do another C, but this time you're gonna close it up and pull down, D. All right, how about broke, broke. He broke the glass, broke, broke. And a silent E, ready? B-R-O-K-E, I got it again. B R O K E, br oak, broke. All right, let's write it. Ready? Broke, br br B R O K K K E, broke. We've got two more. Broke, and then these. These are my friends. These the the T H, and then E S E is the cons vowel consonant. E pattern. So these, the E's. Ready? Let's write it. These, the, go ahead, the T H E's, E S E, these. And our last one is a rose, rose, R O's, R O S E, rose. Let's write it. R O, Z, that's that S E at the end, Rose. Good job. All right, let's write our sentences and then I'll do another video for our sight words or our red words. All right, the first sentence is, I'm gonna say it twice. You're gonna pound it with me three times and then we will write it, all right? I like to smile at Pete. I like to smile at Pete. Let's pound it. I like to smile at, again, I like to smile at Pete. One more time, I like to smile at Pete. All right, let's write it. I like to smile at Pete. We've got six words. If you need to write lines, go ahead. If you don't, let's just write it. I, capital I, I like, cool, I, there's that E that makes that I say its name. I like to, T-O, smile, sm, mm, I, oh, smile. I like to smile at Pete, P, E, T, E, good. I like to smile at Pete. That's not like Miss Pete's because I have a double E in my name with an S at the end, but this is just a guy's name, Pete, P E, T, and the silent E. All right, check it. You got it. All right, practice these so you can write fluently as well. Not just read fluently, but you want to be able to write fluently. So work on those muscles in your fingers so you can write a little quicker and get it all down. All right, Kate broke her nose. Oh no, poor Kate. Kate broke her nose. All right, let's pound it, ready? Kate broke her nose. Again, Kate broke her nose. Again, Kate broke her nose. All right, let's write it. Kate broke her nose, four words. Kate, capital K, 
Okay, and we have that A, not cat, but Kate. Kate, leave a space, br, 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 oak. And it has a K E in it. Broke her, H E R, nose. N O, and that's funny S that makes the Z sound. And that's a period sentence because it's telling you that she broke her nose. Poor Kate. I hope she went to the doctor and got it fixed. All right, we will be back again. And your, your red words, your sight words are going to be below this one. So make sure you tune into that and uh, practice those for this week. All right, see you later. Bye.